Hello and thanks for joining us today on another episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. If it's your first time viewing the channel, I'd love to welcome you and also highly encourage you to go down and smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and uh, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and you don't want to miss any of our future videos. So this video is going to be a three-part video. Uh, it's going to be pretty quick. We're going to talk about how to solve three of your most recent problems. So that would be your crashes, your graphics, and some 3D settings for NVIDIA. Um, so the first thing uh, that we're going to talk about is your crashes. And the first thing that's going to help you with any of your crashes is to go ahead to the GeForce Experience and switch your driver to the studio driver that is much more stable and you will have much less crashes if you go ahead and switch to the studio driver as opposed to the game ready driver uh, so now that we got that out of the way we're going to talk about some 3d settings uh, that will also help your fps uh, inside the simulator so everybody knows how to get to your nvidia control panel and the manage 3d settings uh, the global settings, you just want to go ahead and hit that restore button, turn all of those back to normal, then open up your program settings, click add, and then go down and find Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, the reason for this is because we're going to adjust some settings and uh, you're not going to want your graphics card running full kilt all the time, even when you're not using the simulator. Uh, so that way this will only uh, change these settings when you open up the simulator. So if you go all the way down to the bottom, uh, turn Vertical Sync. I use 3D application setting for Vertical Sync. This way I can turn it on and off within inside the simulator. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Texture Filter and Quality. You click on that, click on High Performance. When you do that, you're going to see that Texture Filtering here and Texture Filtering here. Go in the On position. Uh, then the next thing that you're going to want to turn on is your power management mode and you're going to hit prefer maximum performance. When you do that, uh, one thing that's going to pop up on your screen at the very bottom is an apply button. Now because I haven't changed any settings, it's not there. I'll go ahead and see how it says apply. So let me go ahead and switch that back. Uh, you go ahead and hit your apply button and then it will apply these settings only when you're using Microsoft Flight Simulator. Alright, so now that we have got that out of the way, the one last thing uh, that we're going to touch on is your graphical settings. So you're going to notice a lot of your graphics textures um, and also your clouds are a little grainy. The textures aren't what they used to be and some of the textures are a little oversaturated. So we're going to talk about how to fix those today right now. Uh, if you open up your community folder and you go to uh, the local cache, uh, you will see right here user config right click on that and open up with any notepad I'm using notepad plus plus at the very top Well, you can see what I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti for reference and I'm using that in 4k You can see what FPS I'm running right now. We're at Stockholm uh, Airport so uh, if we go down the first thing uh, that we're going to want to turn on here is ray tracing ray tracing factory uh, they have that turned off in the zero position. You want to go ahead and slap a one there, then go down to LOD factor. Now, if you have a 3070, a 3070 Ti, a 3080, a 3090, or if they have a 40 series yet, uh, then you can go ahead and turn this LOD factor up to a number five. Now, this will impact your FPS greatly when you do that. Um, if you have a 3060 Ti or under, if you're running a still a 1070 or a 1060, I highly recommend that you just keep these on one. I only go up to about 1.5 as my max, and that's about it. And it keeps me uh, with good FPS uh, throughout the simulator. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go all the way down uh, to post-process. Now in post-process we're going to talk about those grainy clouds. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is come down here to film grain and turn that to zero. Factory it's going to be on one. You're going to want to turn that to zero and that will really help the graininess of the clouds and it's also going to make the ground textures a little clearer when you're 30,000 feet up in the air. Uh, the next thing that you want to do to take care of that color saturation that's on all the textures is right here on color grading you want to go ahead and hit that with a zero when you get done go up to the top smash that save button and then after you click out of it I always like to open it back up one more time and just verify that all my settings are still present 
Uh, when you do that, go ahead and open up Microsoft Flight Simulator and enjoy your new settings. I want to thank everybody for watching the video today and joining us here on 2020 Flight Simmers. If you haven't done so already, go down there and hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and click that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our future videos like this. So, as always, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one.